Hello everyone, welcome to a hopeful video, I don't know what to word this as, um, welcome to a kind of like a information slash hopeful video I guess, um, with regards to the rumored Spyro, the trilogy, remaster, treasure trilogy as it's been kind of dubbed so far, um, kind of things that we may know. The thing is, this game has not been officially announced yet. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because today, the day that you guys will be watching this, it's the night before. Obviously, it's like dark out. Um, uh, we know a few things, right? And tomorrow, today, Activision is holding kind of like a special live stream where they are going to be playing Crash Bandicoot, uh, the Incident Trilogy. And I think, I don't know if anything was confirmed that they were going to show, but they kind of teased that they might be showing something and stuff but I'm gonna go through a few um, themes like talking points about like a whole well spiral the, the thing is I I strongly feel like the spiral the dragon trilogy the original spiral dragon Ripto's rage year of the dragon is going to be a uh, remastered coming out maybe this year or next year hopefully this year because it's the 20th anniversary of Spyro and um, I have no doubt in my mind that it's being worked on is just basically like a whole we want it to be announced the first thing that, like, I always bring up about these things is take them with grains of salt when you hear rumors. Uh, don't, never state anything as facts until you, like, hear from the developers. Like, if, like, if, and if you know for sure. Like, even, like, even, like, the rumors that, like, I got word, I got an inside source from Activision saying this and this and this. I still don't trust it. I, like, it's fine to, like, believe in it, but don't be, dis don't be, like, disappointed. Be like, oh, but you promised that it was going to come out, or you promised that you were going to announce it today when you get nothing. Because that's what happened a few weeks ago with people, I think it was like the 18th or something like that of March. Some, some from a Reddit user was like, oh, hey, this is going to be a, a Spiral of the Dragon trilogy is going to be announced today. Um, and nothing came out. Um, so that's kind of the similar thing that's going to happen tomorrow. So it's like a whole don't, don't be hurt if it does happen and if it doesn't happen. But again, just take it with a grain of salt. Um, so yeah, that's so like the first thing that I like really noticed before I kind of like delve more into this was the whole. Um, I was on Twitter one day in February, and then someone retweeted an article from Kotaku saying that Spiral the Dragon trilogy remaster coming out this year and going to be announced in March. Uh, it was something along those lines, and um, so we're approaching the end of March here. Uh, as you can tell, today is the 29th. So people were like. Well, we've gotten some close calls. We've gotten some, um, you know, like I said, one of the few weeks ago where someone said it's going to be announced today when it didn't happen. And same with tomorrow and today. Don't know if it's going to happen or not. So, again, just take it with a grain of salt. Um, it was from Kotaku. Again, I like I want it to be true. If it is true, that's awesome. If not, that's fine. If we don't get anything in March, we'll probably get something at E3 about, because uh, that's when we got crashed. They announced it at E3 and said it's coming out in September. And that's kind of what, that's kind of like what this whole Kotaku thing is, is like, oh, there, there will be an announcement in March and then it'll be like released in September. So that's like the whole thing they're doing. So uh, apparently someone did some data mining in the Crash Insane trilogy since that got announced for the Nintendo Switch and Xbox and I think Steam. Uh, that got announced that that's going to come out sometime this year for all the other platforms. Um, some people did some like data mining or something in the Insane Trilogy and found out that there is apparently some kind of a code for Spyro, the demo in there. Because if, if you had a PS1 or had the, had the Crash Warp for the PS1, there was a code that you could put in, I think it was like up, down, up, down, left, right, something like that, um, on the start menu, and you could play a Spyro the Dragon demo. I don't remember if it was the first game or if it was a um, uh, Ripto's Rage, I can't remember for sure. Um, demo, but you can play a demo for a Spyro game in Crash 3 Warped, or just Crash Warped. Um, so that was, so that's like another thing that's like, oh, there's this. And then of course there's the, there's like an account on Facebook that, or not Facebook, on Twitter that's, uh, like, with a Falcon and apparently it has some ties with, uh, Activision. And Falcon is the name of one of their projects that they are working on. It's just the whole, what is it going to be type thing. Um, the Spyro, the dragon trademark has been renewed in the United States, Canada, like all around the world, basically. Um, 
there have been Sp Spyro the Dragon shirts from Activision coming out. And a few weeks ago, there was, um, uh, someone, like, asked, asked Twitter, or asked Target on Twitter about, like, hey, is there any news about Spyro? And they were like, no, we have no news yet about, like, pre-orders or anything like that, but, like, look forward to it coming out in, like, September. And they've, like, had all these, like, weird, um, responses to them. So it's, like, a whole, okay, what, like, what's going on, I think. Of course, unfortunately, that Twitter account got, like, shut down, like, almost right away. So it's basically, like, a whole, there's so many things pointing to this being a thing, like, this coming out at some point. It's just basically a whole, is it going to be announced in March, according to the Kotaku, Kotaku article it is. I just don't want anyone to get their hopes up. This is a video, like I said, just saying, like, A, I'm very looking forward to it if it ever happens. And I'm sure it's going to happen. Spyro's... Like I said, I'm sure more people would love Spyro than Crash. At least, like, no offense, I grew up with Spyro. I didn't have Crash games. I had I had Crash Bash and Crash Team Racing. That was my Crash games. And then I kind of, you know, I got the a PS2 version. I got the PS2 of, uh, I think it was like Crash Cortex, The Revenge of Cortex. Um, but yeah. And hopefully if this is the case, I wouldn't mind if they, um... Because I love, like, the original series of, like, the first series of Spyro was... Spiral Dragon, Ripto's Rage, Year of the Dragon, then it was Ender the Dragonfly, and then it was uh, Hero's Tale. I would I would love to have those two other games being remastered as well. If they could bring back the three Game Boy games, that would be awesome. And if they if they're able to, and they do this with the Crash one too, but like Crash and Spiral have like a crossover games for the Game Boy Advance. If they could make those games, that'd be awesome. And then oh, Shadow Legacy was also a game that they had. For the 3DS, I was in time with those things. I would love if they would, like, remaster all of them. I know it's a tall order to ask for. I'd be content with the original three. Possibly with the Hero's Tale and Enter the Dragonfly. Other order. Other way around. Uh, Enter the Dragonfly, Hero's Tale. I'd be happy with that way, too. I'd also be happy if they, like, did a master for, um, or at least PS4 ports of The Legend of Spyro games. New Beginnings. The Eternal Night and Dawn's Dragon. I love those games too. Those games are fun and phenomenal. I love them. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to make this video about. Um, plus, it's nice. Um, I'll talk about this possible reveal if it happens on my uh, second quarter of 2018 update video when that comes out a few days later. Uh, April 1st is what I'm aiming for that to be coming out on. Or March 3rd. Probably April 1st. April 1st will, is when it will come out. So I'll talk about if they reveal anything about it, I'll talk about it on that video. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this. Um, let me know. Are you guys excited for, like, a Spyro update? Do you guys want that remaster? Of course, there's a lot of things, like, people are saying, no, it's going to be Modern Warfare 2 remaster from, of Call of Duty, which, why? Because they already have a Call of Duty game coming out this year. They don't need to. Um, so, who knows? We'll see. Um... But yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And like I said, if anything does bear fruit about Spyro tomorrow, today, whenever you're watching this, um, I will bring it up in my update video coming out April 1st. So look forward to that. And of course, guys, I will be Let's Playing all this. As a matter of fact, I'll be Let's Playing and Platinum them. And Platinum all the Spyro games on video. Like, because if they do, I'm assuming they're going to do the exact same thing like they did with Crash. They're just going to like, make it beautiful. They're not going to, like, add anything or take anything out. And I know, I know all three of those games, like, the back of my hand. Even though I haven't played them in years, I still know them from the back of my hand. Like, I know everything about all the, like, that whole, those whole three games. Uh, and a Dragonfly here, so not so much. I only play those games, like, once or twice. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know which one are you guys excited for, uh, Spyro being announced, possibly. And let me know, do you think it'll be Spyro or do you think it'll be Modern Warfare? Let me know. And, again, just want to let you know, please be nice. Don't, like, threaten people if it does, doesn't get announced and don't shove it in people's face that it did get announced to other people that are like, no, it's going to be this. But, yeah. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.